Hi, I'm Brad Shores. This is Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. On today's lesson, we're going to talk about some basic stick uh, control, uh, grips, things like that. Well, on the sticks, I would tell you that uh, you want to make sure your thumbs, I play with my thumbs on top, like this. You can see how my thumbs are on top. And I don't play on the side like this because you want to be able to, the sticks to move up and down so that you get the sound to come out. If you don't, you get this. So I hold them this way. I let them bounce a little bit. So I guess I'm letting, I'm using my thumb and my first two fingers. If you put too many fingers on there, there's too much, uh, it just constricts the stick a little bit. So I choke up a little bit, like this. A little bit of wrist action, but mostly it's, it's all here. Now, I always tell my drum students, you don't want to have any nose pickers, and you don't want any hitchhikers, and you don't want any tea drinkers. So pretty much have them like this, thumbs on top. And uh, for if you want to sustain the notes, you can do a roll on it. And the roll doesn't have to be fast, it just has to make a sustained sound. It doesn't have to be. That's really fast. It can be. It's just a consistent sound, a nice even roll, so you get a nice even sound. Uh, on areas of responsibility, like what hand plays what note, I hear that a lot. I wish I could tell you that there's a standardization of this, but I don't think there is because um, you don't want to do this like on a xylophone, for instance, you go left, right, left, right, left, right, or a mallet instrument, you go left, right, left, right. If you did that on the on the steel drum, you'd get, for instance, I'm going to do the C scale starting on C. Now you can see that I'm crossing my hands like crazy. So what I generally tell people is right side, right side of the body, left side, left side of the body. That way they don't cross. There will be times when you have to do that, but generally, I would do the C scale like this. Sorry. There may be some times when you need to have some more um, for speed things, but generally, I tend to play on the right side of my right and the left side of my left. Now, that doesn't include rolls. Of course, you need two hands for that. The other thing is when you play on the, uh, let's say, the top part, this part of the, the steel drum, uh, the notes that are up there, instead of, I've seen people do this, they invert their sticks and play this way, which is not right. What you really should do is you lean into the pan a little bit, you get your elbows down, so you still maintain a, a nice even surface and a nice even, uh, every note sounds the same. Because if you try to invert, you hit it here sometimes, it just doesn't work. This is the way you do that. So if I want to play, uh, now I'm up here on this high C sharp. You can see where my body is. I'm into the pan a little bit. They talk about getting into the pan. That's what we're talking about. Lean in, give yourself a, a good area to play. So a lot of this becomes, um, second nature to you when you play a lot. But generally I would say if it feels wrong to go then it probably is wrong. So if you want to do a chromatic scale for instance the first notes I did that were on the left I did on my left side. The right side is the right hand. Now yes there's some there's some exceptions to that but generally start there. Starting things for uh, for beginning pan players you can never go wrong learning a scale and I would learn the C scale, the F scale and the G scale first. And of course, those will be an annotated as, as they always are. But uh, do them up and down. Here's the C scale. Then I do the arpeggios, the 1, 3, 5, 8, the 1, 3, 5, 8, or 1, 3, 5, 1. That would be the C, the E, the G, and the C in this case. That's the first, third, and fifth, and eighth part of the scale. 1, 3, 5, 8. You start to go, okay, I know the scale, I know the arpeggio. That's what that's called, the arpeggio. And then the, the F scale. F has one B flat in it, so it's F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Up and down. Various speeds. Arpeggio, one, three, five, eight. The G scale, one sharp, which is F sharp. There's the, it's annotated, G, A, B, C, D, F sharp, uh, 
E F sharp G. basic um, get to know that scale sort of uh, exercise. You can do things like that's sort of a little pattern where you go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, you know, as I did. Um, so you can kind of make up your own scales. You just want to get to know a couple of basic uh, keys. F, G, and C. Those are good places to start because a lot of the stuff that, that I write anyway is in those keys. You can do the scale and the arpeggio, make sure you have good fundamental hand position, thumb position, uh, thumbs on top, work on your rolls. You could do your scale with rolls if you wanted, or you could do um, um, you could do the arpeggio. I did one, three, five, eight, but I, I did them in uh, double stops. I played two notes at once. I played the one, the one and the three, the uh, five and the three, and then the one and the three again, or the eight. So those are some basic fundamental things to know uh, about the grip, where to play, uh, playing positions, things like that. Some beginning things to get you into learning the, the patterns a little bit on the steel drum. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to uh, join the channel by subscribing. And uh, please go to panland.name.com. That's a uh, social site for steel drum players that... Uh, you can find pictures on there, sometimes there's some free music, uh, all kinds of videos, helpful things on there. And then also if you need any music or backing tracks, things like that, go to tropicalshores.net and uh, just help yourself. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.